quaffed it. Welcome to Good Mythical Gamore. Do we know about having babies even though we witnessed so many? Maybe we've forgotten. Okay. First, merchicality. We like to see y'all out there in the world repping that merch just like that little baby, never too young. Uh, and when you do, sometimes you get to win stuff. Congratulations, the winner this time is Spooky V. You win a $30 mythical.com gift card. Oh, look at that. Merch leads to more merch. Hashtag merchicality. Wow, I like that jingle. So Stevie, how yes. much do you know about baby trivia? I know everything that's written for me on this scoreboard. Okay, you were once a baby. True. This, I mean, I'm not gonna get graphic here. This does not smell like a vagina. It's just a gimmick. It's a it's a wonderful gimmick. And vagina is not a bad word. No, it's a proper term. It's a proper term. Um, quizzes, Stevie. Let's see what we know. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you questions that that sometimes have multiple answers, and that's fine. Um, so there's no there's no multiple choice or anything. You're just gonna have to really dig deep on this. Uh, are we working together? I, I've had you more are, children than him, so we're not working together because I feel like yeah. I can beat you. How should you treat your baby's gas? Name one acceptable answer other than burping them. Celebrate it. Uh, gas means that the pipes are are clear. One, okay, it's not burping. I was gonna say patting them on the back. That's burping. Uh, if baby has gas. One of the things you can do is they make this tool. Now we did not use it, but that's right. We use it on the show, and it's this little thing you <coughs> stick in your baby's behind, and it releases any trapped gas from their colon. That's hmm. one acceptable method. How do, how do you treat it? Um. Uh. You feed the baby. Um, I don't know. I always thought gas was a good thing. <laughs> I, I, so celebrate it. Okay. The, I guess the, if you have gas pains, it's like when they fart, that means that there's relief. But if you know that they're that they're like, uh, if they can't release it, I don't know. You just it's kind of like CPR, but for the belly. Right, right. You squeeze it right out of it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. The answers I have are. Change your feeding position. Make sure their head is elevated above their stomach. Switch to a slower flow nipple if you're bottle feeding. Yes. Or bicycle their legs. No, oh, I, bi bicycle their legs. Well, I've, I, I've definitely done that. Now, when you say low flow nipple, I mean I my right nipple is a high flow, and my left nipple is a little lower. Switch flow. then switch so sides. Switch sides. Uh, bicycle legs. Well, those aren't those aren't that, multiple those choice. Are, yeah, those are all true. It, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you would so we neither one of us get a I point. I mean, I think my answer is te Listen, technically correct. We don't get a point for what? How because it's true. For we, what? We, we use the product on the show. I know. Did we? We is did. That true. We I mean, talked we about it. it. Sound real, but I can't. We talked remember. about it. Yeah. Fine. Okay. I don't have to get a point. Whatever. What's the best way to prevent your baby from getting a flat head? Uh, the baby needs, you need to rotate how the baby sleeps. No. The baby doesn't need to sleep on the same side all the time. Well, no, the f back the, f the back of the head is the, f is, is the flat part. So put the baby on its belly. You don't want to do that because you might get sits. Oh yeah, I remember What you got to do hey, is you. Baby sleep upright like a horse. You buy us, there's a special, again, there's, a Helmet. Another, there's another product that is available for this that creates a little divot for your baby's head to lay in. Yeah, but that's not what she's looking for. I, apparently, because the first time I said about a product, it didn't. Because you could time. also put your put a helmet on your baby if it starts to, if the head starts to become. Different. I think you have to limit the amount of time they spend in the crib. That's my answer. I say rotate, ro let the baby sleep on its side, and then the uh, rotate the baby like a rotisserie chicken. So, like, these answers are coming from your own personal experience of having multiple babies, right? Well, I wiped all that slate yeah, yeah. clean. And so. both of my kids have flatheads, so I mean, we, didn't, we didn't worry about that. We're making all this up. They had gas and flatheads. I mean, it's just... 
<laughs> the answer is tummy time. The soft bones in a baby's skull can flatten if they spend too much time sleeping or lying in the same position, but time on their stomachs will fix this, strengthening neck and back muscles, allowing them to turn their heads. Yeah, but not so not while they're sleeping. You don't put them to sleep, but you give them tummy time. I don't tummy, remember that. Tummy I remember time, that now. Tummy time. I Name remember the a recommended way to soothe a teething baby. Ice. Um, t- what you, you, um, drugs. Can't remember which ones. Um, man, I wise would still know all of this immediately. You know. Uh, yeah, ice. I, I right, mean, you give them you give them teething rings, but that doesn't. I don't. That, I think that's that makes another it, product. I went with a non product answer. That makes it hurt more. Um, I you can you can get stuff to rub on their gums. That's true. I that. remember that, like a um, a numbing thing. To I'm gonna go with tummy time. I think that relieves pressure on the face. This is this is creeping me out. By the way, I don't like thinking about like having yeah. young children. Man, I didn't. No offense, Morgan. Yeah, but like the the like I do not envy your position. Age man. zero to one. You got that. You got that little baby. I, it's like they're just a little bag of person, and it's just like bag of bones. Not yeah. even. I was I was gonna I'm not gonna say it's not even a person. Obviously, it's a person. It did sound like I was gonna say that though, but uh, I didn't mean. Sometimes that. you can just think things and not say them. What's okay, the wait. So ice and some kind of drugs, drugs. that you rub is what your answers yeah, yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice would work in a pinch. Okay, the real answers are: rub a cool metal spoon on their gums. Keep wet washcloths in the fridge, wring one out and give it to the baby to chop on, massage their gums, or give them a chilled teething toy. Listen, every single thing, I three out of those four things- I said were, a teething were, toy. Were like existing. cold things. For people who can't afford a teething toy, they got ice. I mean, how do you, when you think about when, when our children were that young now, like, doesn't it like give you the willies? I definitely uh, I'm glad that that stage is over and is impossible to go back to, to happen that. right now. At least yeah. for me to be responsible for it. Yeah. And I'm not looking forward to being a grandparent yet. I'm in a sweet spot. Hold right on, gra- no grandparent. I'm gonna be the best granddad. Oh yeah. But that's... I'm not ready for that. You, 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 You're ready for that? You want no, not, to bring a baby home? No, I'm not ready for it. But I'm just saying that, like, at that point, the gas and the flathead is you just that's you're like I don't care about that. This isn't tummy time. This is a grandpa time. We don't. We do whatever we want to. I'll be giving them ice right out of the whiskey glass. You know, whiskey glass. Yeah, I'm always gonna have a whiskey oh, glass. As a we grandpa. are. We are bad people. Soothe what that baby. Is colic, and what are some ways to soothe a colicky baby? Colic is a general term for a baby that is difficult to soothe. It does not have a medical origin. And it is it differs from baby to baby, and it's just whatever works for your baby. Sometimes it might be rocking. Sometimes it might be ice. Sometimes it might be whiskey. Uh, he's wrong. Um, it's when babies either lay on their side a lot, or they wrestle with other babies, and their ear starts to like, like be kind of like Colic fleshy. Fire. Yeah, it's colic ear. Right, right. Uh, and you just drop the ear and you say, oh, that baby's got colic, but you know it's the ear. Right, yes. Okay, so we've reached that point now. I was um, right. Yeah, you're pretty right. Colic is when right. a healthy baby cries for a much longer time than most babies, more than three hours a day or three days, more than three days a week. Just a bad baby, Symptoms basically. Symptoms include high-pitched screaming, clenched fists, fists, and red face or pale skin around the mouth. And colic doesn't have a cure, but you can soothe the baby by giving them a hot bath, making sure they aren't hungry and checking for a clean di- diaper, <sighs> rocking or singing your baby, putting their carrier on top of, pop, top of the dryer, playing music, and putting your baby against your body. And Emphasis on top of the dryer. Slow yeah. breaths. Not in the dryer. Now, we had colicky babies, that's, the, that's why I knew that. The thing, the thing is, and Morgan, see you're, how old's your baby? Nine months old now? See, the thing is, the communication is pretty one-sided. You know, it's like you really, it's, you love this baby so much and you want to make sure that he's okay and that 
she's happy and all this stuff and you know but you, you don't you you're reading the tea leaves and it's so frustrating especially frustrating if they're like crying a lot it's like oh my gosh what I, what, what am I supposed to do? And it's like, should we call the doctor? Should I ask my mother-in-law? Do I have to talk to my mother-in-law? All that type of stuff, you know? It's okay. like, oh, it's just a, you know, it's it's so difficult. When Morgan, they get older, you, you gotten, can start to blame the problems on them. What? Have you known all the answers to the questions? Uh, for the most part. Yeah, see, he's Of course Morgan he's in it. it. He's in okay, it. this is the final question. The wounds are fresh, they're open. So what? I have a one point. I have a one point lead, and I have two additional symbolic points. I just, nothing matters anymore. <laughs> right, right, right. Nothing matters anymore. So I don't think you can win. What is the recommended way to trim your baby's fingernails? Uh, if you have a bicycle, you turn that bicycle upside down. And you like you you start you just turn the wheel, and then you just you put the nails. You just grind them down. On the side of yeah. the bike top. You can also do it with a fan. <laughs> um, uh, I there, think you, you, what you do is you you go outside on some concrete, some cement, and uh, you let them crawl around. You take something that lures them, like a little ball, and you throw it around, and they'll they'll slowly wear themselves down. If they're at the crawling phase, right? Yeah, yeah. If they're at a real little baby, they just kind of lay there. On the concrete, you can still get them to make contact with the concrete. Um, you want? Do you want to know what you should do? Like, that's a good makes, way to trim your dog's nails. By yeah, the way. just let them run around on on asphalt, no concrete. Um, no, I don't know what the real answer is, but I know what the practical answer is. I know what mamas actually do. They bite their kids' fingernails. They do. Yeah, some mamas do. The bad. That ones. is an acceptable answer, I guess. But I just learned that today. Or you do it when your baby's asleep, calm or drowsy, or you use uh, special baby nail clippers or an emery board. Yeah, you just file them down with a bike tire. I mean, an emery board. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I get that point. Okay, next one. That that's was it. Last that's one. it. All right, because we learned plenty. I Man. think I'm ready to have another baby now. Yeah, I'm. I'm not ready to be a grandparent or a parent again. Join the Mythical Society third degree quarterly or annual plan at mythicalsociety.com to get the Retin Link on Vacation vinyl release.